Interior State 11, uh, again, started in 1991 as the Canamex Corridor. Uh, that was where the federal government saw the need for a new high priority, high capacity roadway throughout Arizona and from the Canadian border down to the Mexican border. So the Canamex Corridor is very important for moving goods back and forth through the state. The first 10 miles and the last 10 miles of anything we eat, drink, touch, wear, either starts on a truck or ends on a truck. Every time uh, they are stuck in traffic, that adds another nickel or dime or quarter to the products we buy. In 2014, Arizona Department of Transportation completed a study where we looked at the whole state. This study is focusing on Wickenburg, Arizona to Nogales, Arizona. Uh, and in the last year, we've reached out to the public to ask them for what the scope of the project could be. What, what are their issues? What are their opportunities? What are the constraints? for a new interstate facility in the state of Arizona. The way we're here now is to show the public our reasonable range of alternatives that we have identified and have them take a look at that and see if we did our job right in the last year, if we listened correctly to them. We are looking to really peel back the layers of the onion and see truly what are the opportunities and constraints to the environmental issues, wildlife habitat, flora and fauna. Then we also look at technical issues, the topography of the land, where a facility can go, and we certainly look at the social and economic impacts. And at this stage, since we're such a, at a high level, we're looking for about a 2,000 foot wide corridor where a future transportation facility could be located. Some of those alternatives we will look at is our, our existing facilities. Could uh, Interstate 10, Interstate 8, or State Route 85, could Interstate 19, could those uh, existing Arizona Department of Transportation facilities and federal facilities be widened and improved to add for new transportation capacity uh, and mobility for the alternatives. That being said, we also have to look at what we call greenfield alternatives, new routes in new areas that can support Interstate 11. And we're looking potentially for a, a new route that could supplement I-10 and again uh, to add capacity to our existing infrastructure. The reasonable range of alternatives in the Natural Environmental Policy Act always includes a no-build alternative. We will take the no-build alternative through the environmental impact statement process from start to finish. Uh, if you're in a smaller community uh, like a Casa Brown or a Maricopa, what an Interstate 11 can do is provide for economic growth. Here in the Pinal County area, there's plans for a large amount of growth in terms of manufacturing, in terms of new businesses coming in. So what's important for in these local communities is it, it's strength in terms of economy. It's allowing the uh, communities to grow. It's allowing the economic opportunities. It's allowing for the, our new generation of, of kids coming up through high school to have jobs and, and to be able to stay close to where they grew up and lived and, and have an opportunity for growth. Our state is continuing to grow in population. Our state is continuing to grow in terms of economic development, economic activity centers, uh, in terms of employment growth. And that's good for the state, that's good for the citizens of Arizona. What we're trying to do at, as Arizona Department of Transportation is provide that mobility to those activity centers. To allow a freight movement to uh, get through the state from Mexico up to the Nevada border. We're concerned regionally, we're concerned locally, but this is also an interstate route. Uh, at Arizona Department of Transportation, we continue to look to improve our existing infrastructure. We need to add lanes, we need a pavement surfacing, we need safety improvements. We will continue to do that, but this is a long range picture on what a new facility in the state can do for future generations. ADOT, keeping Arizona moving.